Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Joel. I'm a third semester nursing student at Imperial Valley College. And for today's video, it's gonna be the comparison, a deep comparison of how I rationalize stuff between using a notebook for nursing school versus an iPad. Okay, so I'm gonna go over my three C's or the ways that I think in my head in order to see if something is worth it or not for nursing school. So it's gonna be like a comparison, okay? iPad versus notebook. And yeah, by notebook, I mean just like the regular notebook. Don't think like the, another type of like Windows device or something. So it's just like this regular notebook. Um, now, let me just start with a little introduction into the sense that when we were in high school, we were always used to notebooks. You know, you never saw anyone with an iPad or a computer in high school. Until we got to college or university, that was when we began to see, right? Like, you know, people were having all these computers or tablets and stuff. So it was, for me, it was really hard to transition between like using my old standard notebook, which was, you know, something I used since like first grade all the way to like high school, to my senior year, to be more exact, to digital. Um, and I tried digital towards my end of my prerequisites to go into nursing school. And I can definitely say that it has been one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. Now, the three things or my three C's are cost, creation, and convenience. Okay, now the cost. The cost of a notebook, you know, it's probably not gonna be this type of notebook. It's gonna be more like, like a five star. So that tends to be like a four or $5 notebook. Um, and it comes like with 300 pages, I think. And it has like three dividers. So those notebooks are really good. But the bad thing about them is the following. You're gonna run out of pages. Um, sometimes you do wanna put in like more information in your in your notebook, you know, but sometimes like it's way too too much. You know, there's a lot of information there that you really can't squeeze anything there. So you probably have to flip to the other page and go for it. Um, and yeah, you know, it, it's something like once you write in it, it's like you can't erase it. And if you're doing it with pen, which was like me pretty much, I used to color code my notebook in order for it to look more attractive, in order for me to want to study it. Because if it was just in black or blue ink all throughout. You know, it didn't seem good. It just seemed like a lot of scribbles and everything was everywhere. So there really wasn't a lot of order. So yeah, that was pretty much like the notebook. But when it came to the iPad, you know, you're able to have the app notability and that really helps you in writing all your notes. You can even put the slides there. So you need to copy like everything that's on the slides. Um, and yeah, like all, all throughout, you know, when whenever you're taking notes on your iPad and you want to erase them, you can just you know, just erase it and, and just go on. You know, it kind of like if it was like an actual eraser and, and you're doing it with a pencil. Um, if you want to put some stuff in there, you can change the font of your, of your like stylus in, in your notability app and you can make it smaller or you can like zoom in through the page and like write stuff there. You can take a picture of it and put it into your note, into your notes, you know, for it to look like more appealing and you can change the colors there and, and everything's for free pretty much. Cause I think now the notability app is for free. Um, back in my day when I bought it in 2019, I believe it was like $8.99, I believe. And it was just a one-time payment. So, but like it was worth it. And you have all these dividers and stuff. Um, I can even like share right now. Let me see if I can like share my put like a little screen here you know for you guys to see so right now on my left side you're gonna see like the dividers that i have and then if you click on any of them you know you're gonna have like the slides and let's just go into my chapter 17 to 19. so this is my microbiology class and we're doing, going over the immune system so you see pretty much how i have it like annotated here i'm highlighting stuff and sometimes like I'm even just writing one sentence to summarize the whole slide pretty much. So whenever I'm reviewing, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember I wrote that and, and that can stay more into my brain because now I kind of like paraphrase this slide into my own words. So that keeps it like a little bit more important into my brain. Uh, sometimes you, I draw pictures in there. So there's a lot of things or well, a lot of advantages by taking your writing performance or your note performance with an iPad because now you can just be paying attention to what the professor is actually saying rather than you trying to pay attention and copy what's on the slide. You know, now you have it here and there's really no reason for you to write what's on the slide, but you can just hit add in information. Maybe something the professor said of that slide, you can write in there and just highlight something that the professor seems to emphasize on it and just go from there. So then you're going to see like your lecture. Now I'm going to stop sharing it. Um, now you're going to see like your lecture is going to be a little bit more interesting to the point that you're not just writing everything down. And then, cause that was me back then. Like for me, when I used to have a notebook, it was pretty much like, oh, just write everything down and then try and pay attention to the professor. And then once the class is over, 
you're kind of like, well, I think I, I knew what the class was talking about, but I really don't know, um, you know, in full detail. And when I have my iPad there and with all the, the slides there, I was like, oh yeah, like I, I do have an idea, a really big idea of what was the lecture about. And I remember that the professor emphasized about this and this and this. So I would come out of class a little bit more prepared, whether again, the notebook was like, I would like transcribe everything that was on the slide here in cute colors and with like a good font, I guess, with my pens. Um, but at the end, it was more like having like perfect notes, but really not understand what the notes are saying and really not paying attention to the professor. So it was kind of like a minus two on performance there. So yeah, um, regarding the cost for the iPad, the cost of the iPad is around, it depends which iPad you get, obviously. Um, I would really recommend for students that really don't care about the screen size to just go for the regular iPad. I think it's like the ninth generation. That one is really, really good, or the eighth generation. It has an Apple Pencil support. Um, if you want to go a little bit more, you can go for the iPad Air. In the iPad Air, I think it goes for like $600, I believe. I'm, don't quote me, but it's around that. Um, and then you can get the Apple Pencil 2, which I love because with the Apple Pencil 1, if you get the regular iPad, you're gonna tend to charge it like this. You know, this doesn't have like the tip, right? But the the first one, there's like this tip that you can remove and it's kind of like a, a charging port and you charge it on the actual iPad. So it looks kind of like that. So that looks really weird. Um, but with the stylus, the Apple Pencil 2, you can put it in this magnet area and it stays here and it charges and it doesn't fall. So you really don't have to think about like, oh, my pencil's gonna run out of battery because you're always gonna have it here whenever you're not writing notes. And yeah, you know, it's pretty efficient and, a lot, and I like it. I went for the iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch, because I want a bigger screen. I really wanted something big. Um, and I didn't want to have the 10.5 because for me it was too small. You know, it was like, I, I would have to zoom in a lot and I really like my stuff to be like really well. Um, because in, if I have something that is like premium quality, like an iPad Pro back in the day when the iPad Pro was like barely came out. I was like, I really will want to use it over and over because I like I like it, you know, it's just like the experience of using the iPad Pro for me is way better than the regular iPad. And for the iPad Air, since the screen's a little bit smaller, it was like, I don't want this, like really, I don't want it. You know, I want like the bigger screen and yeah. So that's why I went for that. So regarding the cost for the iPad Pro, if you want the 12.9 inch, which is only on the iPad Pro, that's gonna be roughly around like I think like $7.99, so $800, and the pencil is like $100, so yeah. Regarding the cost, it is gonna be expensive, the iPad, but it's only gonna be a one-time purchase. Now, if you have the Apple Card, um, which is not flexing at all, right? But this is a, a good benefit of having the Apple Card, so when you apply for the Apple Card, you are able to get any Apple product from the website, I think it's like 12 or 24 months without any interest at all. So it kind of like looks like this. Let me see if I can focus. Yeah, there we go. So this is mine and it's like titanium, something like that. Um, you get cash back all the time, but the really cool thing is like any Apple product that you want, MacBook, um, iPad, iPhone, you know, you can get it at a monthly, um, at a 24, 12 month kind of like contract, I guess. And there's no interest and they give you the cash back of 3% on whatever item you bought. So it's kind of like you're paying $30, $40 a month for having your iPad with the pen and everything. Maybe you want Apple Care with it and everything. Um, and there's no interest and also it builds your credit and stuff. So for me, it was like a, a no brainer. Back in my day, there wasn't, the Apple Card was not there. Uh, but I know with the Apple Card today, if, if maybe your mom has it or your uncle or something, they can do you the favor. You can just send them the money and stuff. Um, that way it's not gonna come like a big, big payment. And with the notebooks, you're, yeah, they're $5 each, but you're gonna have a lot of them eventually, or you're gonna be buying a lot of paper. And then you're gonna have like this big binder, like like three inch binder that in reality, like, you know, you're always gonna be carrying and it's gonna be super heavy. And you're always gonna be looking for everything where here, you can have your binder here and everything and search for everything just with one tab. So I think that's easier. You also have Google Drive, you'll have your, your iCloud. So it's like, you have a lot of storage and you can even customize the storage of your iPad to get like the 128 gigabyte um, or whatever you want. This is a 64 gigabyte and it still works a lot because I don't have no, I don't have textbooks here. Um, I do physically buy the textbooks, but I never really open them because I find everything better on YouTube with videos and stuff, but you know. Um, so yeah, that's regarding cost. Now creation. With creation, we kind of like already covered it into the sense that in the iPad, you can create stuff more easily. Um, you can change your, your stylus from black to green and all the colors that you want and even you can mix them. So 
and it's all for free technically you know you're I said for free technically because you have to get the iPad um, and get the notability app but other than that you know in real life you're gonna be getting a lot of pens you're always gonna be getting more pens and more pens because they're gonna run out of ink and the worst feeling is like you're writing your notes and then the pen's ink already like it's already done so it's kind of like oh crap you know so um, yeah so I, I feel like with the notebook over time you're gonna see that you're gonna be spending so much more money and in the iPad it's gonna be like just like a one-time payment or if you have the Apple card access you have like that benefit of 12 to 24 dollars a month you know it's, it's gonna seem like a really like a fair deal um, and it's gonna help your education a lot so instead of carrying like a lot of books and maybe like a lot of notebooks and binders you're just carrying your iPad and that's it so it's like easily and more affordable um, which goes with the last point of convenience you know just having the iPad and have everything there you can get the one terabyte iPad if you want so you can have like everything everything there for all your years of nursing school and whether like all your other friends they have like these notebooks and these binders and these textbooks that you have everything here so your professor like oh turn to page notes I don't know what of the, the textbook you can just be like okay and then you can kind of like uh, screen share it or divide your screen um, let me see if I can go let me see if I can share my screen again so you guys can see what I'm talking about um, so let's just say like they tell you like oh go to this page number um, so you, on the right side you have your your textbook and then on the left side you have your notes so you can still you know right here all your notes and, and then put like oh page 154 and you can kind of like screenshot it if you want um, screenshot the textbook page of whatever you're doing like the specific paragraph that you want and stuff and then you can incorporate it into your notes so maybe they're emphasizing a specific page so you can just like put here the imagine this is like the textbook page <laughs> and you know you can just write the stuff here you know if it's uh, you can write like a little bit more details and stuff and it's in your notes you know and once you already close the tab of the textbook you have the text um, the text page number and like the paragraph of it and you can write your notes there and continue on so now I'm gonna close the sharing uh, so uh, that's pretty much what I'm saying with convenience. It's like, it's so convenient to just have everything in just one place and everything again, it's like a big, big binder with your dividers and stuff with, with the way I showed you in the beginning. And then the other one is you're just like being like very old school and always carrying this back backpack with wheels. And it seems like you're gonna travel to just like some other state. Um, you can just come and chill with your iPad and, and maybe have your backpack with snacks or, or water and stuff, which is what I tend to have on my backpack. With other stuff, of course, but you know, because I really have it here pretty much. And we really don't open the textbook in lecture. Um, because we go over the slides and the slides already have them here so it's like oh well um so yeah that's pretty much like my rundown about the ipad in the notebook because i have been told a lot like oh should i go for the ipad or i go for the macbook you know um and i always tell them like you always go for the ipad always go for the ipad and when they tell me like oh notebook versus you know ipad i'm like ipad 100 percent. there's really no debate whatsoever about it you know it's like even if you're not good with technology like the technology things you need to know it's like very minimal to it's like I mean no <laughs> like you really don't require to be a genius or even have a grasp about technology in order to use the iPad for academic purposes it's just like like a like if you're scared because of that you can just tell a classmate be like oh I want to download this and I really don't know how can you help me and it's like oh yeah and they're gonna explain it to you like in less than two minutes and you're gonna be like oh okay that's it okay and that's it so it's kind of like and now like the world is more like technology so just being lenient or just being like not wanting to change and always being with the pencil and paper or pencil and pen it's like why it's like we're going to the point like we're everything's pretty much gonna be digital to some point and it's like you really should be knowing about technology or at least be knowing like how to take notes and stuff um because it's gonna be very convenient in the long run honestly and everything's gonna be here and also there's an app here on your phone notability that you can it's the same notability app so all of your notes that you have here you can have it in your phone so whenever you are like I don't know, maybe in the restroom or you're just like waiting for an appointment or something, or you're just like chilling in your car and you have nothing else to do. You can open your notes here from the Notability app um, and then you're gonna have everything, you know, everything that you... So yeah, so right now I'm gonna be sharing my uh, Notability app on my phone. So right now. So here you can see, this is my phone and you can see everything I have here. And the same tabs that I have on my iPad, I have them here. Cause it's pretty much like a copy paste cause it has like its own backups stuff. So I just put in my account here and I have everything here. So if I want to go back, if I want to go to a lecture cause I don't know, I'm, I'm waiting for my doctor's appointment or something and I have nothing else to do. 
I can just put like, oh, med search and nephrology and stuff. And I do have one textbook here, the Atlas of Pathophysiology. So I can, oops, so I can here, like touch here and then go to pencil, to the finger and just go and find the page that I want to go into and just read them. You know, it's really nice. Um, but I really much, much use it for my notes. Like maybe I, I forgot something. Maybe I was like testing myself in my brain and I'm like, oh, what did I put on the... I don't know, on the echo part, and it's like, oh yeah, I can, okay, I'm reverse ejection fraction, size structure valves. And I'm like, okay, so that means blah, 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 and go from there. So, you know, I have everything here, and yeah, you know, it's, it's really nice to be able to have that option to have it in your phone too. Um, so yeah, you know, pretty much this is how I used to study, and now I'm gonna stop the, the screen sharing. I used to study, so whenever I'm in my room and I'm studying, I use my iPad and stuff, but I know I'm gonna go out, you know, maybe somewhere. Um, and I'm just bored, I can use my phone and study in a way, you know, for five, 10 minutes to just review something or maybe I forgot like a specific concept um, or like a fact and I'm like, oh, I, I know I wrote it in my notes on my nephrology, you know, a chapter and I can just look at it and stuff. So that's very unique and it's, you know, you always have your phone, so it's kind of like the access is there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much gonna conclude the end of this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.